Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Chizzle, and I am back with another video. Now, as y'all can tell by the title, we will be reacting to 11 biggest dogs in the world. Now, if y'all have not already, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button with notifications on if y'all want to see more videos like this on a consistent basis. Please and thank you. And... I got, I got like a small snap, like a bar, kind of like a mukbang, I guess you can say a mukbang reaction video, but something slight. But let's get They come in all. Oh yeah, y'all go get y'all snacks too. Sizes, shapes, got and like color. a nice bar. They're humans' you know best friends. Over centuries, various Yo, that's a bear. across the globe have been trained by humans to play important roles, from hunter to guardian, from herder to companion. For some of these breeds. Size has been of significant importance, whether that was to hunt bigger game, or guard a home with more authority, or even ASMR. Not bad. I hate when they be doing that. They be on my nerves. Mass to survive in freezing climates, but of all the dog breeds in the world, who are the biggest? Let's find out. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today. We're counting down the top 10 biggest dogs in the world. If you thought Great Danes were the tallest dogs, then be sure to stick around for number one, because this lesser known breed is even taller. Number 11, Bully Kuda. This massive dog is known as Bully Kuda, or Pakistani Mastiff, and is a direct descendant of the Alant, an ancient breed of large, Short-coated hunting dogs bred to hunt and fight alongside horses and defend their master's campsites. All right, that dog don't look too bad. It don't look that tall. You know, I've seen dogs in person way taller than that. Bred to hunt and fight alongside horses they and look defend like horses. their master's campsites. Some rare samples of Bully Kuta have reached 200 pounds and can stay. That dog right here. Some rare. It remind me that dog off of the sound like I know y'all ever watched the sound like that's how this dog remind me of the sound like samples of Bully Kuta have reached 200 pounds and can stand as much as 44 inches tall. And if well exercised, they can pack on a serious amount of muscle. Although they're no longer used in battle, Bully Kutas still aren't that friendly which is actually their main selling point. If you're in need of a guard dog, Bully Kudas are perfect because they get along with the humans they respect, but will attack other animals and strangers. Nah, that's gonna get me sued. I don't know where he just attacked somebody. That's gonna get me sued. French Mastiff. You may recognize this iconic mug as the Dog de Bordeaux more commonly known as the French Mastiff. They also go by several other names, such as the Bordeaux Mastiff and Bordeaux Dog, no matter what you choose to call them. This breed stands a massive 27 inches tall and weighs up to 100. That's, that's two feet two, no. That's two feet three inches. 150 pounds. That's about like, that's like right here. I guess I smell like, like about this. And although other French breeds like the Poodle, the that's Basset like Hound, and the French almost Bulldog half my height are the more famous French breeds, the Mastiff is one of the most ancient breeds of the country. Although its face may look intimidating, this powerful dog is amazingly loyal and affectionate. It looked like a pit bull. Back in the days, they were a jack of all trades, used for anything from guarding the house to watching over flocks and even pulling carts. Nowadays, they're still very active outdoors, even pulling carts. They all look like clones, like they all look like all of the same people. Carts. Nowadays, they're still very active outdoors, but make for a gentle and mellow family companion when indoors. Number nine, Newfoundland. Oh, who? 
The Newfoundland is a big boned, muscular working dog that's also that is a, a mini bear. swimmer and a great water rescue That is dog. a bear. Unlike several larger breeds, the Newfoundland wasn't bred to become a guard dog. Do y'all have a dog? I know in a couple years I'm going to get a dog, but I don't know what dog. Instead, their original purpose was Imagine to help one of y'all making on for this list. Boats, pull carts and most importantly, fetch anything that falls overboard, including people. Yup, that's how big and muscular these guys are. In fact, there have been many rescues of people out at sea credited to these big owner-oriented dogs. They may not look it but Newfoundland that stands is a bear. To 30 inches That's tall, a bear. Which is about That's basically as tall a bear. As the average Great Dane. They also weigh an incredible 150 pounds, which is about as much as the. All right, me. I'm skinny muscle. Like I'm like skinny and muscle. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm like muscle but skinny. I weigh 94 pounds. This dog weigh like like 55. 56 more pounds than me. This dog could easily truck me on the football field. Average. Oh, that's in general, really. And they look even bigger because of their thick double coat, which keeps them warm even That's in why I said water. they look like bears. Number eight, St. Bernard. If you can't get your hands on a Newfoundland, then St. Bernards are yet another breed of big, fluffy, easy going companions to look out for. Originally created in the... I'm calling it now. Number one will look like a whole horse. The number one dog is going to look like a horse. I Because if we have dogs like this, imagine how the number one dog is going to look. Swiss Alps and Northern Italy That's a horse, basically. Dog. The St. Bernard is a massive, friendly, ever-drooling affection machine that stands up to 35 inches in height and is also one of the heaviest dogs in the world. Averaging about 200 pounds. That's almost three feet. Ooh. Some of these guys have even that's, been able um, to reach a weight of up to that's two feet eleven. Pounds. That's almost three feet. The number the one dog gonna look like a whole horse. Are the ones credited with training dogs for rescue and for playing a role in developing the breed as we know it today. However, today's Saint Bernards are mostly family dogs, and they're most famous for being gentle, loving, friendly dogs that are great with families and children. Did they just say gentle? And they're most famous for being. Is he biting his hand? Y'all call that gentle. Gentle, loving, friendly dogs that are great with families and children. Apparently, they're great with kittens too. Number seven, Leonberger. If my you mom saw any of these dogs, she would like have ran. Cross between a Newfoundland and a Saint Bernard, that's because it is. In the mid 1840s, Heinrich Essig of Leonberg, Germany, crossed a Newfoundland with a St. Bernard for four generations. Then, added a Pyrenean mountain dog into the mix, finally resulting in what's known as the Leonberger. Similar to their forefathers, these guys can weigh as much as 200 pounds and stand an incredible 31 inches tall. 200 pounds. Although they were bred as a companion animal, like the St. Bernard and the Newfoundland, Leonbergers do very well in everything from water rescue to tracking to herding. If there is an activity that requires both strength and brain, the Leonberger is probably going to be good at it. But really... Now, I would get that dog for strictly protection. Now, if y'all get that dog for like, like y'all actual dog to like love on, that's not me. I would get that dog for protection because 200 pounds and it's a tall dog. It's a mini horse. That's what I guess for. One giant family dog breed. Before we move on to our next massive hound, here's a quick challenge for That's you. A bear. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button. Luck. Hurry up and try it. It. A English massive, massive, massive chief. Growing up to a height of 30 inches and weighing in at as much as 250 pounds. The English Mastiff is considered 250. You weigh more than my father. Or well, now, but my father used to be a middle linebacker. 250 is how much 
a middle linebacker in the NFL ways and you weigh 250, that's that's like that's like almost three times my um that's like three times how much I One weigh. One of the largest almost. dog breeds in the world. As you know, a Great Dane holds the record for tallest dog, but an English Mastiff holds the record for being the heaviest. Yeah, you get on me, I'm dying. I'm going to get for a smothered. The ever recorded was an English Mastiff named Akema Zorba, who weighed in at an incredible 343 pounds, about twice as much as the average human. They need to have a dog, 300 pound life. I swear, I would binge watch me, my mom, and my auntie would binge watch that show if they don't have it already. But a 300 plus pound dog, that is 300 pound life dog edition. Hand I would have died if they size if they got on me. I would be smothered. Which is a significant part of the breed's past purpose. That's too heavy. In the past, English mastiffs participated in. It don't even look that sports, heavy. It looks like a good bears, hundred something bulls, pounds. And even lions. Oh. Nowadays, their courage and fearlessness sit on the back burner, while their more gentle, even-tempered, loyal sides come forward in their roles as family dogs. Is he saying all so, these dogs family your dogs? are asking for a gentle dog, and you're looking for someone big enough to scare off intruders. This breed should be your first choice. Uh, and that's friendly. Wow. Okay. Number five, Neapolitan Mastiff. That dog looks obese. This breed comes in several colors, including black. Look at the chain. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. It has about seven chins. Blue, mahogany, and tawny. By now, you'll probably have noticed that Mastiff breeds are some of the largest in terms of sheer mass, used mostly as a guard dog. The average male Neapolitan Mastiff stands around 30 inches tall. It can weigh up to a hefty 155 Look at the eyes. pounds. Why the eyes red? While females are like a, demon. a little smaller, standing a few inches shorter and weighing 110 to 130 pounds. The Neapolitan Mastiff originated in southern Italy and is known for being fearlessly protective of their home and family, making it an ideal guard dog. But Why not is quite so the fat? best warning system. You see, Neapolitan Mastiffs are more known for quietly sneaking up on intruders rather than barking to warn them off. Now, my dad might like this dog. I don't know. He might. Because he likes big dogs. He had a big dog. Case in point, you certainly don't want to stand between a Neapolitan Mastiff and its family. And if you're thinking or like a medium, one, it was like a medium size training for a big time dog. Into your dog socialization. Number four, Scottish Deerhound. Now, my mom might like this dog, but just smaller. Because my mom, she like. She would take a dog, like she like she doesn't want to have a dog, but if she does, she might get like a small dog. This dog right here, but small, would be good for her. Going back to the less bulky, more leggy breeds, the Scottish Deerhound gives away its whole purpose and origin with its name. Originating in Scotland, these guys were once used to hunt red deer and could easily chase down its prey with those long legs. Deerhounds will stand up to 32 inches tall and weigh as much as 110 pounds. And although they're not doing any deer hunting today, some enthusiasts still use them for show and in some places, lure coursing, a dog sport that involves chasing a mechanically operated lure. With a lanky body meant for speed, these guys are built similar to greyhounds. It's skinny. They didn't make today's list because the deerhound is look ugly larger and heavier than its less hairy counterpart. And now that I realize my mom would not like this dog, this dog looks ugly. My pain. Number three, Caucasian Shepherd. Traditionally used for herding livestock, the Caucasian Shepherd is a gorgeous Eastern European breed that's best reserved for experienced dog owners who excel in obedience and socialization. With great size comes great responsibility. And with an average height of 30 inches and a massive weight of up to 220 pounds, the Caucasian Shepherd is surely no easy walk in the park, literally. And not just due to their size, but also because this breed can have difficulty oh, so getting along with other dogs and get aggressive if threatened. 
Yo. This right Aggressive here. If threatened. He needs to be in the wildlife. No dog should be doing this. That is a bear. He should be in wildlife. If you think you have what it takes to train and care for one of these beauties no, to become I'm not well socialized, that. you'll have a dog that can definitely keep you warm and safe at night. It is now time for today's subscriber pick. We asked our us by a subscriber number two, Great Dane. Tell y'all, number one will be a horse. Tell y'all. Though they aren't the heaviest dogs, Great Danes are among the tallest. Often that stable. remind me of that Disney dog. I think it's called like Dalmatians 101. 28 to 30 That's that inches dog. Tall. But often they could be even taller. I haven't watched that movie in forever years. The world years. record holder for tallest dog was a late Great Dane called Zeus, who stood an incredible 44 inches tall. Unfortunately, Great Danes trade longevity for their size and live only to be between six to eight years old, uh -huh. which is peanuts compared to most breeds who live anywhere from 10 to 15 years. The Great Zeus died of old age at just five years old. The Great Dane is also known as the German Mastiff. That's crazy how humans live up to like a hundred and something, but these dogs live up to like five. That's old for dogs. Five is old for dogs, but five for a kid, that's like a newborn, basically. But before yeah, setting down its official the roots in Germany, the dog that eventually became known as the Great Dane breed actually came from a crossbreed between English Mastiffs and Irish Wolfhounds. Is that dog in a gang or something? And it was wearing it's the red. considered um, the largest of all dog of breeds, you're about to meet a few other breeds that give the Great Dane a serious run for its money. And if you stick around until number one, you'll meet a lesser known breed that is actually even taller. Hell yeah. Number one, Irish Wolfhound. And finally, at the top of our list is a dog taller than most Great Danes. That dog don't even look tall. What are you talking well, about? The tallest dog in the world is in fact a Great Dane. With a standard of 35 inches tall, the Irish Wolfhound can often keep up with the average oh, Great Dane. Oh, it is Dane tall. Never mind. Never mind. Grow to never be mind. A lot taller. Yes, that was like the, the same Irish height Wolfhound as one of the other dogs. Grow to be as tall as a donkey. These. How does a donkey look? I forgot how a donkey looks. Brave dogs originated in Ireland, and contrary to popular belief, they were not crossbred with wolves. In fact, they were used for the purpose of wolf hunting. Telling you that these dogs are wildlife horses and chariots. These aren't supposed to be pets. And although they may sound fierce, the breed has long since left those jobs in the past and adapt perfectly well to family living if properly socialized. And that's it for the top 10 biggest dogs in the world. Bro, do y'all have one of these? Comment down below right now, this second. Comment down below if y'all have not already, if y'all have one of these dogs. Now, me, I would not get these dogs, but if I needed protection, I would. And that's only, I'm not cuddling up with these dogs right now because I'm going to get smushed, smothered, something. I'm not getting none of these dogs unless I'm getting paid at least a thousand. I'm gonna. I need life support. Everything, cause if they, are, bro, I'm telling you, if they do something to me, y'all are getting sued. Y'all paying me money, everything, man. But this is the end of the video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe with that post notification bell if y'all want to see more videos like this consistently. And as always, it's your boy Chisel, and I'm out. Peace.